All right, question 35. What is the area of the triangle below? Well, formula of the area, as you, it states on your reference sheet, for the area of a rectangle, triangle, area equals one half base times height. It is very important you write the formula every time. The base of the triangle is represented by 2.5. So you have one half times 2.5 times 8.75. Now, when you multiply the two out, one, one half is a, as a decimal is 0 0.5. So you come to the side and you say 2.5 times 0.5. What is that? 10, 12? Two decimals. So the decimal becomes, let's see. So then you have area equals 1.25 times 8.75. Now come over here to the side. 1.25, 8.75. Yes, it's a lot of multiplying, but you can, um, since your answer is in decimal form, you're going to have to multiply the decimals out. 2, I'm going to do my math. Along here, line up my numbers, 125, 8.75, 25, 10, 12, 5, 6, hold there, cross it, 5, 14 plus 3 is 17, 7 and 8, two placeholders, 0, 40, 16, 20, 8, 9, 10. Add them up. You have 5, 7, 13, 9, 10 with 4 decimal holders. 1, 2, 3, 4. My final answer becomes B. Okay. What's the area of the triangle? And it's only the triangle in the figure below. So I'm only looking at this shape here. Now, you see that this is 8. They're showing you here, the whole thing here is 12. So from here to here, it's 8, making the leftover piece here 4. The whole thing is 10. This little piece is 4. 10 minus 4 makes this measurement 6. So my triangle has a base of 4 and a height of 6. And if I come to the, and if I fill this in, in our formula, one and a half base times height, you have one half, four times six, one half, half of four is two, times six equals 12, and it's measuring in millimeters squared. A. What's the area of this shape? Well, what shape do you see? If you said trapezoid, good job. Formula for the area of a trapezoid, and you have this, these formulas, so it's not like you're going to be expected to memorize them. One half, the height of my trapezoid is 16. My base, my first base is 6 and 12. Half of 16 is 8. See how I'm breaking that down easily, right? 6 plus 12 is 18. You're technically only multiplying half, 8 times 18. 64, 8 plus 6 is 14, 144 inches squared. Find the area of the polygon below by dividing it into two rectangles using one vertical line. Boom. Show your work. So you have triangle A, I mean rectangle A and rectangle B. My rectangle A formula is length times width, so for rectangle A, the area, the length is 3.5 times 1.5. Come to the side, special assistant says, show your work. 5, 25, 15, 16, 17, 5, 3, 5, 12, 5, 2 decimals. So the area for that one is 525. Shape B. Write my formula equals. So, if this whole thing is 5, and that is 
pi minus 1.5 gives me 3.5. So this measurement here is 3.5. Okay, so I have 3.5 times. Now, I need to know what this is. If I know the whole thing is 3.5, I need to subtract this piece from it to figure out this piece. 2 times 2. 6, half of 2 is 7, so it's 7. And multiply it out over right here. 10, 6, 7. Add them up. 0.25, 12.25 centimeters squared. All right, next one. A rectangular octagon, or I'm sorry, a regular octagon can be divided into isosceles triangles. One triangle formed by this division is shown where the base is four. So that means this measurement here is four and the approximate height is eight. What's the approximate area of the octagon? Well, the octagon has how many sides? Eight, okay? So we're not gonna do this eight times. I'm gonna find the area of one triangle. Area equals one and a half base times height and multiply it by eight at the end. Half of four times 4.83. Two times 4.83. Six sixteen eight nine gives me nine point sixty six. But I'm not done since there's eight triangles. Forty eight. Forty eight plus four is fifty two. Seventy two plus five seventy seven. Move the decimal twice makes the area of my octagon seventy seven point eight meters squared.